Pictures up. Okay. Oh Everyone, positions. Roll camera. Rolling. Rolling. Slate in. Scene four. Take three. Take three. And action. Action. All right. At the end, like after you call saying that Rivers can come in and you're still waiting there, be like, what are you doing? Like, you can go now. Got it. It's a good experience. Yeah, that's I'm glad I got out of bed this morning. Yeah. Like, it's this thing with me. I don't really like getting to the thing. But once I get there, it's so much happiness. Yeah. So much happy. That's this. That's, that's it. <laughs> so much happy. I've had the honor of working with industry titans like Denzel Washington and working on projects produced by the likes of Tom Hanks. But whether I'm working on a short film, a feature film, a commercial, a television series, or teaching a film camp, they're all equally important to me. I have been the film camp specialist slash instructor at RSCT for five years. It is the highlight of my year. Any chance I get to help cultivate a young person's talent or maybe even help them discover a talent or a passion they didn't know they had, that just fills me with joy. Hands up, stretch, stretch, reach the ceiling. Give yourself, like, stretch your body, get oh. even taller. And imagine that there are strings attached to the tips of your fingers and there's a puppeteer pulling the strings so that you get really high on your tippy toes. And then flop over. So telling me I'm so tired while you're walking like this is not showing me that you're tired. So no words this time and walk like you are sad and tired. So much better. Now I'm seeing sad, tired people. Because you're concentrating on the body and not what you say. I'm Karen Murdoch. I have been the Rehoboth Summer Children's Theater Film and Theater uh, Camp Director for I don't know, like 13 years or something, so um, a really long time. The other thing that's different about film camp versus theater camp is that we never do anything in order of the story. There's something in the business called a shooting schedule. I'm sitting here putting together the shooting schedule for these amazing films. That means that on this board, usually before the day is over, I have a shooting schedule on the wall so that you know before you even come in the building tomorrow what we're doing. You know, like you, you rehearse the play and then you do the play from the beginning to the end. Well, we rehearse the movie, or we at least talk through and design the movie, but we don't perform it in that order. Because, because it takes so long to set up the different shots and the lights and everything. I really like it, but I think you can't really see her face. You can't really see who it is. Molly? I didn't see her. Like, I can all, I couldn't really see her face or anything. <gasps> Like, in the screen. All you can see is the black tarp. Yeah, you can't see it from my camera. You can see it from my camera. Yeah, yeah, you can see it from mine. If there are movies that have lots of scenes in the same location, even though they're not in order of each other, it doesn't make sense to set up all the stuff right here, film this, break it all down, set up somewhere else, do that, and then come back and set this up again. That wastes so much time. So we set up this scene and we shoot everything that happens in this area. So you might be shooting the end of the movie before you ever, ever shoot the beginning of the movie. That's just the way it works. Robert and I have been working together. This is our fifth year uh, co-facilitating film camp. And honestly, Robert is the brains behind the filmmaking. He is the guy with the film. I just manage the process. I just want to talk real quick about something called set etiquette. Does anyone know what the word etiquette means? Yes. How you act on set it means polite conduct, uh, being kind, being sensitive, being respectful. And that's something that we practice in the film industry, set etiquette. 
to be friendly, to be respectful, to collaborate with your team, and to be very careful around equipment. Sometimes there are plugs on the floor. So many wires. There's a light stand in the way. There might be 15 pieces of equipment, and you're crouched in between them. So you have to be very careful about that. Also, when you're on a film set, there's something called quiet on the set. Who knows what that means? <laughs> It's, it's like the number one rule on a film set. For the next few days, if a director says quiet on the set, or Karen or myself says quiet on the set, please, please, please settle down and hold all movement just so you can find out what's happening and we can all have a great time. How many times did you say quiet on the set last year? Oh, uh, too many. 6,000? How many times do you want to say quiet on the set? One time. One time. Okay. That's it. All right. And there's a director on each shot. So what does the director do? Uh, Let's see. Tells people what to do. <laughs> yeah. So tells people what to do, but also a specific Action. shot looks like, how it relates to the rest of the shots, uh, where people stand, and tells the cinematographer where he wants that picture to come from. And so the director is the vision. Directors do not call cut right away. Please give the scene time to breathe at the beginning and at the end. I'm telling you, this is where we find some golden moments. All right, wait, JD. Should I do that? Now tell me. Should I, should I do that? I'm going to leave that up to you because either way is fine. Okay. And you want people to be able to watch the film and actually have some time with all of the characters that you're playing. If you rush through the dialogue and you rush through the action, then it's over before you blink your eyes. And, and she's not like saying anything, there's nothing going on, and, and that would just like the pacing, I think, would feel off. Yeah, and it doesn't okay. so matter. tense, or, or for like 20 seconds, wasted the movie. I wonder which of the movie has the best scene to look at. So give it some time. This is your chance to shine as the talented actors and filmmakers and artists that you are. Too much talking, too much just like talking. Look, too look much talking hurting right your ear. Like, I know it's like, it, it feels awkward, but like, it will look good, trust me. Uh -huh. Like the yeah. actual flyer, you have a cart no, me. Too much. We are going to spend all of today designing the movie and writing the storyboards and getting the pre-production together so that we can spend three full days filming. And Robert and I decided that we were gonna smush pre-production into today. So today is gonna be intense. I'd like to think I'm an easygoing person, but I've been known to be a little intense when it comes to the craft. And we're not gonna waste any time because today is gonna be intense in terms of deciding what we're gonna start shooting tomorrow. Everyone, she asked all these good questions. And since we are, all of us are coming up um, making this, we can answer them however we like. So, Well, my and Karen's mission is to give kids the opportunity to know what it feels like to be on an actual film set. And yes, that can be challenging. This year we really want to have a written script that everybody, every actor has to learn lines from. The screenwriter is the person who physically takes the information that the team is developing, the story the team is developing. INT stands for interior. So if your scene takes place inside, you want to put I-N-T for interior. And writes down the dialogue. Usually, one page of script equals one minute. We're aiming to have our films be about four to five minutes long. How do you feel about this second day? Um, I'm very tired because I worked on the script pretty much all day yesterday. Um, but I feel confident in everybody's ability, and I feel like we're going to make very good movies. When you're making the movie, it's fun, and we have a good time creating the movie. Do you think we could do that again? Every time JD picked up the cup, I could see the script right there. Oh, okay. Put it under your chair. Just, That's what I did. Get rid of the do you like don't this? sit on it, put it on your chair. <laughs> there are going to be times during this week that your scene will be in the middle of the set and you will not be able to do it. It can be monotonous, it can be a lot of stopping and starting. In the process of developing the films and the shots and the frames, 
the person in charge of camera and lighting is going to identify and decide what camera angles and what kind of lighting is used in each of those shots. Sir, what have you enjoyed about being the cameraman and the lightsman so far? What do you enjoy about this? Is that I'm probably better than everybody else. Like you, you ain't got nothing on me. I am better. What do you love about the cameras? Do you like having like the different angles? What do you like about it? Do you just think cameras are cool? Cameras are the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. Better than a dinosaur. Like a perfect <laughs> dinosaur. Oh, come on. <laughs> And making sure that we're incorporating all of these technical elements into the storyboard. So there's no question about what the shot looks like when we go to film. It is crucial that you hit these marks because, Layla, if you fall out of this mark, we're not going to be able to see you at all. Do we have a mark for sidekick when she no. goes I'll up? Just stop the wire. Right here. No, when Teddy put his mark. I mean, Teddy said the mark is there. No, for when, no, she, goes so for when she goes up and, and then out. And looks at the camera, I guess. And I'll just stop at the wire. And rolls her eyes. Like that one. Right there. Walk up and show me where you're going to be. Stop. Stop moving. Stop moving. Come on. Put your toe back on. Put your toe back on. Put your toe back on. <laughs> toe back on. <laughs> why are you here? Besides my mom told me. Um, why are you here? What, what made you think film camp might be a good idea? <laughs> Darky cut. Darky because I don't want to. I just like do photo edit or like do video edits because it's fun uh -huh. and my parents sign me up so. My name is Avery. What brought me back to film camp is for the past few years I've only been doing um, theater camp and just like juggling a bunch of different like ideas and I wanted to switch it up this year like I wanted it not to be just acting and it not being like recorded or like um, in somebody's memory. I am very you excited to start filming this so the other because one. then we can right get out camera? of here because of camera how hot it is. Yeah, that way. yeah, it's so hot in here. It's probably 90 degrees. Hi, my name is Alana and film camp. I really love film camp and I always come back to it because I like acting, but I also like being behind the camera, like filming it. It's a really great experience, and it's all I always have a lot of fun. And I decided to do film camp um, because I like making iMovies and stuff like that, so I thought it would be fun. Hello, I'm Piper, and I came to film camp because I've been going to like these camps for years. And I'd say in the beginning, I really came for acting. But now I prefer the process of like directing and coming up with a movie and helping to make it. It takes a team to accomplish something, to accomplish a, the, a movie like this. I just I've done film camp in the past, and I just always come, I just enjoy it, and I prefer more like behind the camera stuff now. And I really wanted to do film camp to act and to like see how it is like when you're filming. And I've done theater camp in the past year, so I thought film camp would be fun, so I was just switching it out. How many years have you been doing this? Hi, my name is Sam, I'm eight years old, and, I have been, and I'm having a really great time at film camp. Uh, this is my third year. Third year? Nice. I started to do film camp because I love directing, and I used to make movies with like my little cousins when they were coming <laughs> from California, and we made one recently, and it was really funny. Uh, I came back to film camp because last year I thought it was really fun, the process of making the movie and making new friends. I like acting in front of the camera. That's why I come here and do theater camp every year. I came back this year because I thought it was very fun last year. What was the most fun about it? What do you remember? Like, what stands out? Um, acting. Acting? So you're more in front of the camera than behind the camera? Okay. Well, I'm here because JD here enjoyed it, and um, I thought I probably will too. So when I was four, I made one movie because I watched Jurassic World all the time, and then I just wanted to make a Jurassic World movie. I came here because it's always been a lifelong dream to be an actor. 
And then, and then uh, it, it's been a long time dream to make a movie. I came here because um, it sounded fun and I recently made a movie with my sister and her cousins. And I'm back because I loved acting last year. Yeah. Even if I died really quickly you in did the movie. Die <laughs> Because I really wanted to just, I don't know, act, I feel, uh, acting, I feel like I can be other people. The reason why I came back to camp is because I like filming, and filming is really fun, so I want to have fun here. Okay, cool. Do you like to be behind the camera? You like the, the more technical aspect of filmmaking, or the acting part? Both. Both? Good. Well-rounded. Perfect. And I came to film camp because I'm really excited to do acting and stuff here. This is my fourth time. Film camp was really a really good experience for me because I got to like, like, write the play with all my friends. And all my life I wanted to make movies. They just I really like, like to make movies and I want to learn to make a dragon movie where a dragon yeah. destroys a castle. So, what do you like about camp so far? I think that is a, it is a very enjoyable and fun camp. You get to learn a lot and you get to communicate. And for the pandemic, we've been in our house for about two years in remote learning. So it's nice communicating with other human beings who are not your family. Just a word of how exciting it is to be making a few steps forward after the pandemic, to be getting a little bit back to normal. Uh, and so thank you for being a part of that this year. Oh, and I should say thanks to Karen and Robert. They, they make it very comfortable for me. Whenever I'm communicating with you, uh, it makes it easy for me to say, things are going to be great here. <laughs> thanks to Karen and Robert. When you're royalty, you don't look like the hunchback of Notre Dame. <laughs> <laughs> you Those jokes are dumb. Dumb. Those are dumb. Not Those are right. dumb. Right. Right. That's in college. How dare you make fun of that is where my family goes, and I am now disappointed in you, fans. <laughs> <laughs> That's a wrap. Woo! Yeah. 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 We are. That's a wrap on Film Camp. Take in history of film camp. So, yeah. you know, one extreme or the other. <laughs>